Boy, I am so happy I got the UNC threes. I know everybody was out there at 5.30 trying to get these mugs. Boy, I know I gotta be working the next five, 10 minutes. I'm taking the prime up for like five minutes real quick. Let me see what I can do. Who is you? Ah, yes. My name is Dr. Zenith. Your family has hired me to talk about your little problem you have going on about these sneakers. They just don't understand why you like these sneakers and why you keep blowing your money on it. So I'm here to talk to you about your so-called fetish. Fetish? What are you talking about fetish? This is a, a true fashion. This is something that I'm proud to say I'm a sneakerhead at the end of the day. So whatever you got going on with your fake Bill Cosby wannabe swag having stuff, you need to get out my house before I call the feds on you. I don't even fool the feds like that, but I'll call them today. So hey, fetish, psh, you tripping, bro. Big time. You need to get this telling. Sir, your words, it doesn't affect me. I am a doctor. I have a PhD. I have degrees. I'm here to help you to maintain your self-image and maintain your life. This thing you have going on with these shoes, this ain't it, buddy. You with this YouTube, this ain't it, buddy. You need to go ahead, get yourself a real job, and go ahead, and get your life together. I'm here to help you. Your folks got me in here in a simple and easy way to help you at the end of the day. So if you don't want to listen to me, most definitely do what you do and try to make it off this YouTube. But it ain't going to work at the end of the day because it's not a real job. Matter of fact, bro, I can care less what you're saying. This thing will pay off. I have people that support me and care about me. My subs care about me. And you know, I might not be consistent like that, but at the end of the day, they gonna watch my content and they love me for who I am. So, you know, it's also one more thing. Boy. I'm seeing you. Still get it for the gusto. Young hot head man cut throw. Riding that nass on don't go. Kick back and serve off them O's. O's, O's, O's. What's up, you guys? It's your boy Kenny Q, and we're back with another video. I know it's been about two weeks, and as you can see, I got that quarantine cut fresh and so clean. But you guys, forget about the cut. I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed the skit, and just letting you guys know if you got a passion, just keep pursuing it. Like right now, today's a not today, well today, anytime really. During this quarantine time, it's a perfect time to pursue your dream, your business, your YouTube channel, anything that you want to do, pursue it right now. That's a big fact. But in today's video, I got the top five places to buy sneakers in Arkansas. This is my personal list. And you guys, I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, give this video a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment and give me some feedback because you guys i'm trying to bring you guys the best content possible if i keep saying guys i'm saying guys as you all not just singling out the guys itself but as the females too i salute to the women so you guys let me go ahead and get the incognito phone Woo yes sir so hey on stop number one we're going one five one as being the greatest and five as being just mediocre. It's not the it's good and it's a trusted source, but you know it's like eh. So hey, number one, Rock City Kicks. You guys, this place I have been shopping with them for quite a while. I have bought some shoes here and there, and trust me, they have some fire in there. Every time Rock City Kicks hooked me up, I had bought some Easter Kobe's. The picture gonna be right there as usual. You already know how we do it. But I bought some Easter Kobe's. I wanna say, I wanna say it was 11. I don't remember it to be exact. But it was a, a mad deal. And I copped some for them. And they have they have raffles and stuff like that. Yes, I might not be the biggest fan of raffles, but at the same time, they system it works. So Rice City Kicks is number one on my list. And I salute to the people of Rice City Kicks. Cause you guys put on for the city. They do a lot of dope events for people, schools and stuff. They give back to the community. Most definitely. Rock City Kicks, I truly fool with them. As you can, it's gonna be a card up there too. I had actually went, not as a shopping spree, but I bought some clothes and a backpack 
from the guys and they hooked me up with a massive discount on the backpack. Then they, every time I come in, they show love. They just cool people. Truthfully, they just cool people. So that's number one on my list. Rock City Kicks. Check them out. I will be leaving all the locations down in the description. So make sure you check that out also. Check that out. Number two on my top five Narcsol to buy shoes and stuff like that and etc. is City Gear. City Gear is on a first come basis. So it, let's say the UNC threes, they come out, but they already came out, but they got them every size, full run. You just gotta be there on time to get them. And going to my old stories, I remember my homeboy and I, Alex, out to my boy Alex, we was in line, literally, I wanna say from 6.30 till they open. I was say they open at like 7.30 or 8 o'clock. 6.30 to 8 o'clock in the freezing cold. I think it was like February or something like that. And bro, it was on a Saturday. I remember that it was cold. I had some Adidas slides. My dumb butt had some Adidas slides in the freezing cold with a little thin jacket. I wanna say it was, I think it's a Marvin Martian 7s. And bruh, I got my pair. My, might not be the size I wanted, but I got my pair. Cause on the first come first basis, like bruh, the line was long. This, see, I'm, I'm gonna give you, you youngsters something. Back in the day, in my day, we had what this call was camping out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got all this tech, technology. I got these gadgets and stuff. Back in the day, like in 2013, 2014, I think it started doing like around 2016, 2017. But throughout that time period, when I was in high school, bruh, we camped out for every shoe. And City Gear was the place to go. Like I literally got every shoe release, Metallic Fives. I camped out and got my pair of size 10. The, the 20, I want to say 2016 Infrared Sixes. I camped out for those. I didn't get my size, I got a nine and a half. And trust me, I take out the insoles, just fit them shoes, but I rocked them. I got them from Rice City Kicks. So you guys, City Gear is really good. Like, trust me, they good. You just got to be there on time. Because you're not there on time, then, bruh, you might just take a L and you might have to sleep with that L for a minute and let that bug marinate on your brain. Because you're like, dang, I should have got to a little bit earlier. I should have slept in the bed for like an extra 10 or 15 minutes where I couldn't be on the road down the street, on down the road to on City Gear. So, hey, that's how I go. But City Gear, bruh, I fool with y'all heavy too. So, let's recap. Number one on the list, Rock City Kicks, dope people. Number two, City Gear, dope people, but it's on a first come, first basis. So Rock City Kicks got the raffle, City Gear got the first come, first come, first serve basis. So number three is Champ Sports. I say Champ Sports because it's pretty much on the same basis, but it kind of got both the methods combined. So you got the raffle for the app and stuff like that. And basically you go into the app, Type in your size and everything. You try to get your pair. Then you say, okay, you're going to be in a draw. Basically, they're going to pull your name out. Then if you get picked, you get picked. If you don't, you don't. There were some releases that might be on a first come basis. Like I know, for example, the UNC 3s, they was raffled. So you ain't get picked, you ain't get picked. You couldn't even double up on a shoot at Champs. You couldn't double up. So, hey, Champs, they really good too. Trust me. So I tell my people at Champs, I most definitely fool with them heavy. I used to work for you guys. Hey, y'all already know, click the card, cause it's gonna pop up saying I used to work there. Or it probably did pass, wherever. anyways. You guys, Champs, I fool with them heavy too. They number three because sometimes some releases, it'd be kind of like, bruh, I wanted that shoe, but they was on a raffle. Or it's like, okay, you know, they don't have a raffle, so I gotta be there early when the mall open up. So it's like, it's like pick your poison, basically. But Tramps is a trusted source and they're good. So don't sleep on it. So also, number four on the list is Foot Locker. Foot Locker pretty much on the same basis. Now, sometimes people go to Foot Locker before they go to Champs, cause it's Foot Locker. They're like at the top top. So, hey, Foot Locker, they sometimes tend to sell it a little bit faster than what I noticed. If Champs don't have it, you try to run down to Foot Locker, and Foot Locker don't got it, then you, you out of luck. 
So full log is like that. Okay, chance don't get. Let me hear one down real quick. Go down to the bottom level of the mall. McCain, not my, McCain. You're McCain and Park Plaza. You just run down the down the road and everything. Not the road, but down the hallways. Where you want to call it? Down the aisles. And you try to go to that store. So for me, I did that plenty of times with shoes. If I didn't get that chimps, I'd try to hear everyone down to Foot Lock and get them. But anyways, on number five on the list is Finish Line. So now Finish Line is a good source too for in Arkansas. So Finish Line is pretty much, a, it's basically the same thing as Champs, Foot Locker and all that stuff. But Finish Line for me, a 10, I don't know, they kind of, they different for me because it like, bruh, I'm trying to get the shoes, but it's like, every time I go down there, nah, we ain't got your size, bro. We ain't got your size. Yeah, I know how it is. I don't know if because I don't know them or, or whatever, but every time I go to the fence line, we ain't got it. Or I get like a defective shoe, like a little stain on it, like somebody had some um, some spaghetti and eating in the back with some spaghetti. And they, you know, they spilled a little bit on the shoe. I'm like, bro, what is this? What is you doing? Like, come on now. So that's how, that's how, that's the finish how I kind of, I'm not trying to talk about the company. I'm talking about the people at the company, at the malls I go to. You feel what I'm saying? Cause like, bro, it's like I got some spaghetti sauce on my shoe. And I don't appreciate that. So hey, that's why they number five on the list. So yeah. So let's recap, you guys. Number one, Rock City Kicks. I fooled them heavy. Me personally, I fooled them heavy in Arkansas. Cause they got two locations. They got one, I'm gonna say one in Fayetteville and they got one in Little Rock off of Mark, West Markham, all right? And like I said, everything gonna be down in the description. So make sure you check that out ASAP. Number two, you got City Gear. City Gear is first come, first serve. I don't know if they changed things up on doing raffles or what. Me personally, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been there, but with my memory, it's a first come, first basis. Number three, we said champs. They basically do the same methods, and I trust them people. I trust them like I trust them with Rock City Kids and City Gear. And you already know champs is like a major retailer, so you guys, champs is always a good trusted source. Sometimes he might strike strike out. Same thing applies to number four, to Foot Locker. Foot Locker, you might strike out. You might not. You might get lucky. Open Arkansas. Number five, you got finish line. You have to, you might, you might have some spaghetti sauce in your shoe. You might not. It all depends. You and they might not have your size, depending on who you are. So hey, that's how it goes sometimes. That's how the boat float. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this list. Like I said, this is my top five places in Arkansas that I fool with heavy, like heavy. Like most days, I've been going to, I've been going to, I mean, I'm gonna break it down for you guys. I've been going to Rock City Kicks ever since I was in 10th grade and I found them out on the website. And yeah, 10th grade, I've been going there. Like some of the dudes know my face and everything. They're cool people. Like it's really, it's really, it's really a vibe there. Then you got number two, you got City Gear. They cool people too. You might strike out, you might not get it. Same thing applies with Champs. I fooled them ahead. I used to work there. Shout out to my people at Champs. Most definitely all love. Most definitely. Then you got Foot Locker. All love to them guys too. Then you got Finish Line. You got a spaghetti sauce. So, hey, you guys. It's been your boy Kenny Key. Dropping the bangers left and right. And I'm most definitely going to be trying to stay more consistent. More consistent for you guys. Trust me. So, I just thank you guys so, you guys so much for watching my videos, especially my sneaker collection. It's almost at 400 views. We gotta get to a thousand, man. Let's get these videos to a thousand. And I promise you, I'm gonna keep dropping these bangers because you guys got me motivated. So I thank you guys. Please stay safe on this coronavirus. And I thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy, Kenny Key, signing off. So you guys made it to the last part of the video. Like I said in the beginning. So you guys, I got Actually, I got a pickup video coming for you guys soon. Like, I'm so excited. It's coming soon. I got two pair of shoes and a whole bunch of clothes. And I need you guys to go ahead and sub to me so you go and see the, pro see the process, see everything. And I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. 
this little secret. Come here, come here. This little secret. I got the shoes from StockX. And I got the shoes from Pat, not the shoes, but the clothes from PacSign. So, hey, I'm going to get my full in-depth review on StockX and my full in-depth review on PacSign. So, like I said, it's your boy Kenny Keep signing off with these bangers. Peace. Oh, to you, this my interlude. I'm so into you. This that 90s love, one minute really not enough. I'm at your window with this pebble in my hand. Speaking in the other bump and I song in advance. Talk about a future that I'm praying that we have. As God is my witness, I just want to be your man. One in a million like a Leo.